Hi guys, Toba Loco here. Welcome back to the 2010 FIFA World Cup South Africa runs. Today we're going to be playing as Comoros. Uh, you may already recognise this team because we already did then on 2014. We did a qualifying series with them when they were going pretty well in the AFCON, you know, when they got out of the group and everything and um, they scored that amazing free kick. And I just wanted to try them again on 2010 because um, although my qualifying series was good, I reckon that I could potentially have a good run with them on 2010 since I'm a little bit better at 2010 than 2014. So let's randomise the teams that are going to be in here and see what kind of group I get. I mean, I wasn't going to do a qualifying series again with Comoros. I didn't really see the point in doing it. So I figured just a basic run. And um, yeah, that's a fantastic group, isn't it? France, Paraguay and Poland. Um, yeah, I think we are definitely going out in the group stage. All right, let's check out the squad for Comoros and see if we recognise anybody. I highly doubt it. I highly doubt it. I don't even know anybody from the Comoros. Just like in my 2014 one, I didn't even recognise anybody. But we have a star player here called Bakar. Um, he is a 53 rated player, probably one of the highest in the squad next to um, Mitadi. Um, but everybody else is rated around about 40. So we're going to struggle so hard in this one to try and win even a game or even score. And as usual, just to let you guys see it, we do play on Legendary because it is the most challenging and also fun experience on this game. It's nice to go back to Comoros and um, like play as them again because they did so well in AFCON. They, they were one of the Cinderella stories, weren't they? They weren't supposed to get out of the group, but they did. Did they beat, they, they, I'm fairly sure they knocked out Ghana. Am I right in saying that? That is a huge result. Uh, for them, considering that Ghana did actually qualify for the World Cup as well, and it was a 3 2 as well, it wasn't like just like a, a 1 0 or anything like that, a 3 2 victory. Realistically, though, I think that we are 100% finished already. <laughs> like, as soon as Poland get going, then that'll be it. I think the main sort of target in this gameplay is to get a goal with the Comoros. I think that could be the main target. A win might be out of the question. France, Paraguay and Poland, really tough teams. Like I feel like I've been, yet again, shafted by the group stage. Poland, they cross it in and just over the bar, I thought that was gonna be one nil. Into the middle here, go for the shot. Oh, it's just caught. Needed that on the ground. Through ball, come on. Here comes Ali. Can he score? He's in behind. He shoots, he scores, there we go. We got a goal against Poland and Ali ran all the way through and he almost got caught up and scores to take a shock lead against Poland. That's pretty decent. Now we got our target, we got a goal. Now can we push Comoros and get a win? That would be incredible. Ali really is the hero at the moment. I was thinking about squaring it, but I thought, nah, just go for it. And it paid off. Here comes Poland and again wide. They just haven't been good with their shot selection. Turns into the box. Oh, we almost snuck it in again. This side, like half a star, but still giving it their all in this match. I mean, that was a great ball and we almost snuck it in. It's half time and Comoros are leading 1-0 against Poland. Can you believe this? This seemingly group of death for this little island nation and they're holding their own in the first half against, well, I mean, one of these big teams. Through ball, go for the strike. Head that please. Go on. Yes! The half volley scores and it's 2-0. How did they not pick that up? How did they not pick that up? And it's that man again. It's Ali who scores to make it 2-0 to Comoros. This is amazing. The deflection there, then the header. Nobody picked him up and it was just a simple half volley into the back of the net. That was well taken, especially for a half star player. Oh, Poland, really? You're losing your heads a little bit. And I think Ali's been injured. I'm not sure. Let's try and score this free kick. This type of free kick again. Go for it. Ah, oh, into the middle. Go for the strike. Oh, that almost went in. We've been in total control of Poland. It feels like Poland just haven't even turned up for this one. They should be absolutely smashing me. I think if they had Lewandowski on, possibly it would have been a different game. I, I mean, obviously Lewandowski of today, not... 2010. We've been pretty exceptional in this one, haven't we? 
Really, really good. I can't believe that Commonwealth have had this kind of start. I thought I was going to struggle like mad. No, man. Oh, that was just so... Oh, my God. How did Poland not score that? I tried to score with my goalkeeper, and they still missed it. That is crazy. And we've taken this one. We got our first win in the group stage. Watch out. Comoros are the dark horse in this one. Our second match is against the big boy. It's against France. And I fully expect Comoros to get absolutely stuffed in this one. Uh, I reckon it'll be around about 4 or 5 nil if France are switched on. But that win against Poland will help us to be able to try and contain France. Through ball. Oh yes! Here comes Abu Bakr. In behind. Can he score? He shoots. Oh my god, that was a chance. That was a good chance. We caught him napping at the back. Oh no. Here we go. I can't get near him. They selected the wrong defender as well. And they put it wide. That was a chance for France as well. It's been end-to-end -end in these first 10 minutes. Crossed in. Benzema. Good save. At least we haven't conceded yet. We've given France a few problems. I'm surprised we lasted this long. <laughs> like 35 minutes in, France still haven't scored. No. Oh, they just scored. I had to jinx it, didn't I? I had to jinx it. And Nicholas and Nelka scores. And it's 1-0. What can we do to uh, try and get back into the game now? 1-0 down. Conceded our first goal at the World Cup to France, which there is absolutely no problem with doing that because it's France, obviously. Through ball. Ali, can he be a hero again? Or will he get caught up here? Oh, go on. Keep going, dude. Oh, almost karate kicked it into the back of the net. So at half time, we are only 1-0 down. So, and we've had, as well, a few chances to score. So it's not like we're completely out of this. Uh, it's been pretty decent. Still on the ball here. Comoros. Into the box. Go on. Oh, poor shot. Why did I go for the finesse with a team like this? Benzema. Oh, good defending. He's still got it though. And he pokes it and scores. I couldn't clear it. And, um, oh, Diara scores to make it 2-0. And it's 100% game over now. I just couldn't get it. It was deflecting off of everybody in the box there. First shot bounced off him, and why does it go to this really slow motion replay? It's so slow. Like, just get on with it. Over the top. Can we get there? Oh, we still have it. Go on. Oh my god, that was so close again. We've had chances in this match, but we just haven't taken them properly, or they haven't really been lucky enough to go into the back of the net. Oh yeah, one through ball, and I just can't catch him up. There's no point. There's literally no point. He's put it wide. Okay. Well, I mean, we got lucky on that that play. And that's it. We lost against France 2-0. Expected, to be honest. But I can't help feeling that I should have had something from that game. Maybe a goal, potentially. Not a win, but definitely a goal. We had quite a few chances to actually get one. But it just didn't fall kindly for me, I guess, the kind of shots we had. Um, France's first goal, yeah. Okay. Legit. But their second goal was lucky. It was just deflections in the box. That's all it was. I hate conceding those types of goals. Just quickly check the group. So France are top of the group. And um, me and Poland are fighting for that second place spot. Um, it's really close. Like The goal difference is exactly the same. And the points as well. So all I need to do is try and beat Paraguay and hope that Poland lose against France. Final match then against Paraguay. And um, not really the opponent that I really wanted to face at the end. I wish I could have Poland again. We'll see what we can do against Paraguay. I mean, we might be able to beat them. We might be able to have a performance like we did against Poland. But I highly doubt it. I mean, players like Santa Cruz and um, Valdez are just going to be too tough to deal with. Okay, Santa Cruz crosses it in. They got it here, and they hit the post, and we just got rid of it, and that could have easily been a penalty. Just need to be careful on the ball, and not give away too many chances, like that, like that. As soon as I say it, I jinx it immediately. Uh, this is just not going to be in my favour of the whole game, is it? I can't even link up a pass. This is definitely not the performance that I had against Poland. It is going to be way different, and that was close 
from Paraguay with really not having much luck in stringing together any passes up front. Their defence is just too solid as well. This is 2010 Paraguay, the same Paraguay that went to the quarterfinals and only narrowly lost against the world champions. It's half time and at least we're not losing at the moment. At least we're not losing. But the other result in the group is going the wrong way. And um, I'm disappointed with France, really. I really am. Um, my disappointment is immeasurable right now with France. But I need to do something to win my own game. I can't rely on other results to go my way. Through ball here. Go on, Ali. You were the hero in the last one. Go on. Ah, oh, that was our first shot of the game. And very close. It's just such a struggle to get past this Paraguay defence. Crossed in and the goalkeeper's got it. It's, it's just not been good enough here from Komarov. So I feel like we just lost a bit of momentum because we lost against France. But France have equalised, so that does help us slightly. I'm battling though. I am really battling this team. Go on. Oh, that finesse shot was just so bad. Oh, we're not taking our chances properly. And this could come back to bite us. Uh-oh, oh, wow, good block. I thought that was actually going to go straight into the top corner. Over the top here. Oh, hang on, there's a mistake. Go on, Abby Backer. Go on. Oh, my God, are you kidding me? Off the top of the bar. And Komarovs could have taken it. They absolutely could have taken it. There's another chance here, but the goalkeeper's getting it. That felt scripted, that pass. The goalkeeper was already ready for it. And, oh, my God, I might be going out. I could be. It's still an impressive result, but I think we possibly have been eliminated. I'm not sure. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. I can just see it on the right-hand side. I got eliminated by goal difference. Look at that. By one goal. If we scored at the end, we would have gone through. That is... Oh, my God. That is heartbreaking, dude. Comoros was so close. But, on the bright side, we got four points, we beat Poland, and we drew against Paraguay, and we only lost 2-0 against France. Um, I felt like the France result did ruin our momentum a little bit, because, yeah, we were flying against Poland. So Spain beat Argentina in the final, and Italy beat Germany in the third place playoff. So that was your little World Cup run with Comoros. I'm sorry that it wasn't really like the huge run that you guys probably were expecting but you know it was a tough group and um yeah yeah it's just um unfortunate we didn't score at the end so if you did enjoy this video then give it a like and subscribe keep it local as always and i'll see you again for the next video